Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul. Just doing a quick and short video this morning about something that I saw on somebody else's channel there on YouTube. Um, first things first, this is regarding a, as you saw by the title, a rocket couch to space. And yes, full credit going to Viking Saint. That is Viking Saint for this build it was discovered on no man's sky coordinate exchange the nms ce on reddit and by all means uh you can do this yourself it's actually pretty simple now i was it was brought to my attention by jason from jason plays and he gave him credit as well viking saint so what you have to do is and, and ignore the um monstrosity of a build i have here it just gives me access to uh coming here so that i have uh, the ability to come and go to this particular portal whenever i wish um, in order to just have a little bit of fun. Uh, I did, I did put a couple landing pads here and I keep getting, <laughs> of course, NPCs, uh, dropping in on occasion. All right. Now, so the point is, is that what you have to do is you have to find a planet that has water on it, obviously, and it has to have one of those vents that are underwater that produce crystal sulfide. Okay. So that's what you need, a crystal sulfide plant. This one happens to be really close to the surface, so I can literally um, get really close to it, and here it is. And as you know, these vents, they explode every now and then. See, it's going about to go off here. I'm just going to move away a little bit. And it does that, right? Nothing special. Doesn't seem to be anything special in regards to it. But if you happen to be fortunate enough to have one as close to the surface as I am, you don't have to do any kind of special building. You just put a couch right over the center of it. Have a seat. Now, you are going to take damage. Just a heads up. You are going to get some damage taken. So as soon as this is going to go off, and here's what happens. Most hilarious thing in the world. It is a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately, this planet that I'm on, even though it's a paradise planet, has fish that does attack me from time to time. So here we go. And... And you stay in a seated position all the way up. You just keep going and going and going. Now, I did some screenshots earlier, and this is incredible. This is incredible. I did some screenshots earlier, and um, yeah, it just doesn't stop. And it gets to the edge of space, and unless you do anything, like I'm going to leave it alone... If the vent goes off again while I'm still straight above it, it may do some more damage. You see the little bit of shaking going on? Because it thinks you're still seated on the couch. See? And it boosts you a little bit higher. So, you know, my character's actually well above me right now. You can't even see him anymore. Uh, I can do the... Yeah, I'm in first person at the moment. And back to third person. Really no change. And look how, <laughs> look how high you are. <laughs> Now, the funny part is you get to the edge of the atmosphere and you don't go any higher, so it doesn't keep going into space. But you'll notice that, you know, the particles on the screen are indicating that you're still climbing up to a point. And I'm in space now, but the particles are still going. Now, you should, you know, check. If, if, if everything's going down, it should be telling you. It's not saying a thing. So as long as you don't do anything, you'll keep going. I don't know how high you'll go. I haven't figured that out yet. I really hesitate to pull in my freighter because I'm literally still going. You know, I don't even mind dying at this point, my character dying at this point. I'm really curious because I don't think I've ever gotten this high of the atmosphere. How high can we go? <laughs> we, we're still going. Um, last time I stopped at the edge of space, I, I don't know if this is a glitch or what have you, but, um, wow. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'm not even sure which view I'm in at the moment. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. It, my, 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 my health protection is not dropping right now. I actually don't know what in the world is going on we usually stop at the edge of the atmosphere but i think you're just going to keep going the problem is is that at some point you've got to you know undo this and i don't know if i mean i've got like over 100 uh, you know life support gels in my inventory but 
Is there anything above me? No. Yeah, well, this is pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to actually have to stop this because this is ridiculous. I'm still climbing. I had no idea it would keep going like this. We are well out of the atmosphere. Last time it stopped at the edge of the atmosphere. Holy mackerel. <laughs> the rocket chair to infinity. You know, I could just leave it here and see how far we go. But I think the, the point is, is that I'm going to end up on, either on another planet or I'm going to run into a freighter. All right, well, let's see what happens here. We're going to hit the jetpack. Oh, that's right. I got to stand up. So you got to hit the W. And I just stood up. There we go. And we're literally in space. Oh, I can't even recharge it fast enough. I'm just going to have to keep hitting this. So I can't recharge my hazard protection fast enough to keep it charged up because I am so high up. I'm not even sure if I am going down or not. Wow. Wow. Okay, it looks like I'm dropping in comparison with that asteroid in space. I think I'm still dropping. <laughs> and I thought the freighter jumps were fun. <laughs> this is incredible. Um, yeah, feel free to fast forward to the end and see how far we get with this. I had no idea this is what was going to happen. I knew I was going to get into space, but, or at least the edge of space, but this is ridiculous. So we are definitely falling, at least that much is certain, because uh, it's just taking a very long time, because I let it go a little too long, I guess. Well, it says it's 32 degrees. It's really not that cold. Let's be clear. All right, we're going to charge real quick. Um, let's just take a quick screenshot of this, shall we? I have lost track of my own person. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I think it would be really great to get a planet as a background, shall we? How's that? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now you can see my character a little better at the background. Brilliant. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Um, not sure. I don't think we can even charge this up anymore. At some point, we're going to hit atmosphere. So we're going to pause the video, I guess, until we get to the atmosphere. I don't want to make this too much longer. Be right back, folks. Okay, we've had a change of situation here where it looks like he realizes he's falling now. So while my life support is dropping, my shield is charging finally. And I think we're finally in atmosphere. Hey, look, there's a space station. I guess we should wave. It's not dropping anymore. Yeah, it's dropping a little bit. I wonder if we can wave at the space station. <laughs> can I get a screenshot of this? Hold on. Oh, I'm cracking myself up. 
Yep. Well, it's still dropping, but my shield is up to, up to snuff, so at least that's something. But I, I think it's going to be a little while. At some point, we are going to hit the atmosphere, and we will actually start dropping a little quicker. So, be right back one more time. Little quick thing. The funny part is, it literally has you so high up that it recognizes the fact that you're in space because it says shows these bases on the planet and it knows you're not <laughs> still falling I, i'm not even sure i should have had a timer going on how long this has been right back and we are now considered in the atmosphere we are now considered in the atmosphere so it says it's going to take us 10 minutes to get there um i'm actually pushing forward just to see what happens and as you can see, I'm actually making some progress, but my life support is no longer dropping. Let's see where it's at right now. Uh, 57. Yeah. I'll go ahead and use one of those. And we're just, we're still falling. And I literally am so far away from this thing, it's, i uh, got no clue. Now the brilliant thing, yeah, great, got ships flying below me. Oh, and landing. I can go trade with him right now. Or, or not. I don't know what he's doing. He's circling, trying to figure, probably trying to figure out what I'm doing. And in case you ever wondered what would happen if you fell from this height, I'm not even going to bother hitting my boosters. Just watch. And... That's it. You lose a little health. This guy's circling. Oh, he wants to land at my rocket chair base. That is absolutely hilarious. Or no, he's just trying to do something weird over there. I've never seen an NPC do that. Anyway, that is not the purpose of this video. We will leave him in the background while we um, start to shut down our, our video. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Again, all, all kudos go to Viking Saint. And with a special shout out to Jason from Jason Plays for bringing it to my attention. I have enjoyed this immensely and I will probably be doing this about a half a dozen more times. Um, at least. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like and subscribe. Bye folks.